Hello, this is channel Atomic X, and in this uh, tutorial, I will show you how to make abstract uh, wavy dotted background. And let's begin by creating new document. Let's make simple background for our dotted wavy effect like this let's add gradient mesh to this rectangle by clicking gradient mesh and clicking on place right here and let's make this rectangle dark blue like this and this point let's make it light blue like this and hit this box And that's okay, I think, for, for now. Now let's lock this object so it doesn't interfere with our dotted effect. Go to object, lock selection. And now let's create a line using line segment tool, drag horizontal line like this select white color for it and go to stroke click dashed line make sure your dash is zero points so it's actually no dash at all and the gap is let's make it five points it depends on your document size my document size is 300 by 300 pixels so in my case it's five point gap and on the cap section click around cap so now you have a circle okay so let's make these circles a little bit bigger for example something like five points okay now let's make a copy of this dashed line and to make a copy you have to click on keyboard etc or control C and control F to place new copy and place new object on top of old and now using arrow keys drag this new copy down or you can do the same select your object object edit copy edit paste in place that's created a new object on top now you can drag it down now this new object let's make it for example two points and let's make this one zero percent opacity like this now select both these objects and go to object blend and make now we, can, we just made a blend of two objects you can select for example this object using direct selection tool and drag it down to increase size like this using keyboard arrow keys now select using selection tool and go to object and we'll distort and make with mesh like this now we can play with the mesh points so this is we're gonna distort this object using mesh and drag this point like this this point like this okay looks strange go back to go back just click sterilizet sterilizet and sterilizet again and we are gonna go and expand 
Now go to object, envelope, envelope distort, and make mesh with mesh. One row, one column again. Now we can just try to distort like this. If you want to drag in a straight line with point, you have to hold shift key so you can drag it like that. Okay, now let using gradient mesh just add some few distort points. Something like this. Now using direct selection tool we can distort our object like that. So it looks like 3D You just have to play with these distort points until you get the result you want. Okay, so let's leave it something like this and now Go to object and expand. Now go to object again and click expand like this. Now let's go to object and compound path and release. Okay, now let's try to add a gradient. So we added gradient to each single circle. Let's make this gradient radial. And now we can hide our edges so we can clearly see the object. Go to view, hide edges. And now go to transparency and click color dodge. Okay, looks strange. Let's ungroup it one time. Now again, go to object, color dodge. Looks strange again. Okay, again go to color dodge. Okay, now looks better. So we have to ungroup two times in my case. You can always go back by clicking Ctrl Z and I think that would be okay for this quick so we, we have a blurred like effect from from this to this it goes like blur effect okay so thanks for watching with this quick tutorial and if you want to support me, you can become a patron on my Patreon page or support me directly via PayPal. Or just give a like if you find this tutorial useful. And okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.